Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be checking out Lifeguard's Sideflow Turbo Reactors. This one here is the nano version, it's the smallest one, so we're also going to see how small it actually is and whether or not it might fit in the back of your all-in-one. These are great little mid-tier reactors, so they're not very pricey, uh, and they're, they're really capable of doing quite a few things. They're rated for carbon, GFO, and bio pellets, so let's dive into it. Let's see what these things can do. There are lots of different styles and types of reactors out there designed to be used with various types of media. Some are more economical, like the BRS media reactors, and others come in at a premium, especially if they're designed to do a specialized job like Avast Vibe reactors. But what if you just want a solid internal media reactor with a small footprint that is gonna be able to take care of things like carbon, GFO, or bio pellets that already comes with a pump, is very simple to use, and hits that middle of the road price point. Lifeguard's Sideflow Turbo Reactors do a great job of exactly that. You get a well-built acrylic reactor with smooth, rounded edges, a built-in valve for flow control, and sponges for sandwiching media like carbon, and it's driven by a quiet one pump that pushes water from the bottom of the reactor to the top, which is capable of tumbling GFO or bio pellets. So without further ado, let's get this one out of the box and take a closer look at these internal media reactors. In the box, you'll find the Sideflow Turbo Reactor, the quiet one pump, the foam pads, the base plate, and the instructions. The side flow turbo reactors come in four sizes, including nano, medium, large, and XL. And they have 250 mil, 450 mil, 750 mil, and 1.2 liter capacities while being rated for tanks up to 75, 150, 250, and 850 gallons respectively. They also all include a quiet one pump ranging from roughly 100 gallons per hour up to 1000 gallons per hour, depending on the model. The nano version that I've got here is actually pretty small and it might just fit in the back of your all-in-one system. It comes in at just 4.95 inches long, including the downflow pipe by 3.15 inches wide and sits at just under 14 inches high, which is pretty dang tiny for a ready to rock reactor already outfitted with a pump. Assembly is really simple and it only takes a moment. The pump pushes into a small fitting in the base and then the acrylic platform slots in underneath the pump. You can then attach the removable outflow pipe if it came loose during shipping and you're ready to go. These reactors are also simple enough to fill up. They use four thumb screws to hold the top on, remove those, pop the top off, and you can fill up the reactor. While I don't normally love thumb screws, I will say that Lifeguard did a good job by keeping them relatively shallow, so you don't have to sit there turning them over and over and over and over four individual times. Instead, it's three quick turns per thumb screw and they come right out. Lifeguard also gives you two foam pads, which is great, so you can easily sandwich your carbon up at the top of the reactor so it can't tumble. You can also use only a single foam pad or no foam pads at all if you're using media you need to tumble, like GFO or bio pellets. On that note, the side flow reactors have a valve built right into the outflow pipe right near the top where it's easy to access, so you can control the flow rate of the reactor. While it is similar to a wedge pipe design, they did put stops so you know exactly where fully open and fully closed are, which is a nice touch and should make it easier to help you dial in the flow rate to suit your needs. When it eventually comes time to change out the media or clean out the reactor, just about everything comes apart for maintenance, including the base of the reactor and the internal grills, which I can definitely appreciate. That makes the body of the reactor much easier to rinse out and prevents any permanent trapped bits of carbon or debris that can happen with reactors that don't have removable bases or grills. If Lifeguard's ready to rock drop-in media reactors match your reefing mantra, you can pick up one of these side flow turbos by clicking right here.